Did you know the pottery capital of the entire country sits right in the center of North Carolina? For hundreds of years, people have been making pottery in the town of Seagrove in Randolph County. Shanna Smith is here to take us there in today's destination vacation. Good morning to you and good morning to all of you. I spent a day driving around this community. You'll find beautiful works of art made in an area like no other in the country. Ekmakanlas turns different colors of clay into stunning creations. I use the movement of every piece of pottery as my decoration. So I mix different colors of clay together and let them twist and spiral. And then I carve into the piece and reveal what's hiding inside. X is second generation potter in Seagrove. He even started as a child. For some families here, making pottery stretches back eight generations hundreds of years. There's nothing like it. Every potter credits the rich history to the quality of the clay. Eck even calls it wild clay. The history of the clay in the area is huge. You can just go out and dig it out of the yard and you can make pots from it. That's why along Pottery Highway, you can make your way to some 70 shops, all with their own spin on this art form. There are some new ones that have gone to school, to universities to learn the trade. Um, some have, have family history and that inspired them to do that, but others just decided that they wanted to be in a community like this. It um, didn't take much for me to want to pick up a piece of clay and start working with it. Bobby Thomas hand builds functional pieces like bowls and trays, but she also carves intricate sculptures of animals. She shows shoppers how she makes her pieces and then tells them the next shop to visit nearby. It's a kind of a leisure day where you can go from shop to shop. Most of the shops are um, within a stone's throw or a little ways up the road. And people do travel from all over to tour, about 70,000 a year. Impressive for a town with a population of just 300. While there are plenty of potters, there's not much else. Seagrove really is a one stoplight town. But that's part of the charm and proof that the pottery's worth the trip. The true experience of Seagrove is, is talking to the potters and learning their history and why they're here and why they've kept their families here for some eighth generations. When people come into my shop, my favorite thing to hear is, <sighs> you know, <laughs> I, hope that, I hope that I hear that. Then I want to get them in my room to demonstrate how I do my pots because that's like I get to do a magic trick for people. Okay, some advice before you take a trip down to Seagrove. Go to the Randolph County Tourism page, www.heartofnc.com, and take a look at all the different shops. You can map out your trip from there. With more than 70 in the area, it would be almost impossible to see them all in one day.